Hello everyone, my name is Kamal, welcome back to my channel. And in this beautiful morning light, we're going to check out a very interesting product. Enter the Orbit Key Nest. Let's start by talking about the fit and finish in design, and then we can move on to the features of the product. So, in the design department, this product is a win in every single aspect. The top is made of leather, it has a soft valet tray that's concave, and the bottom is made of this hard nylon material that feels very solid without being, you know, iron. And once you open the latch mechanism, which is made from an elastic, well, the inside is padded with this sort of soft velcro, so the dividers can attach. We'll talk about this later, but also so your items don't get scratched and have somewhere that's relatively padded to sit in, because this is a hard shell after all. The design of this product is very interesting, because on the one hand it's very futuristic, and even more when we look at the features later on, but thanks to the leather top, I feel, it has a very classic impression to it. It's not too modern, but not too old school. It has very modern features and is very well engineered, but at the same time, it still retains this sort of classic feel to appeal to, you know, the more EDC-oriented audience, I imagine. But let's talk about the features. On the outside, on the top, you have a sort of valet tray, like I said. It's a concave area where you can drop your items such as keys or airpods or whatever where you're sitting. So you can use this as a sort of modern briefcase in a sense because you put items in it, but you can put I items outside of it when you settle down. Let's say you're going to the office, you can drop your keys, your wallet in the valet tray. But this small flat area on the top is actually a wireless charger, which you can plug into via USB-C. This gives you more versatility and gives you a spot to drop your phone when you're not using it. Once you undo the rubber band, you will see that the hinge of the top part is very interestingly designed. You can open it book style, obviously, like we demonstrated, but if you lift it off, it just detaches. And every time I showed it to someone, their mind is blown once again. I digress, I'm not gonna fanboy over the hinge. Before I move on to the inside, I should mention there's also a pen loop on the outside, which is very practical, and it's velcroed, so I imagine if with time eventually it gets looser, you can tighten it yourself, which is nice plus. But, going back to the inside, the soft velcro base is as such so you can attach dividers. The nest comes with six of them, and you can place them wherever you want in a sort of Tetris fashion. So, I suggest if you wanna make your nest yours, just put your items in it, and then when they all fit, you can just put the dividers in between them so they keep their place. And voila, you have a properly organized EDC. And on the other side of the lid, you have a few slits to drop in stuff like cards or keys or a small notebook even. That's what I do. And it's very good. It's a bit tight and can take some of the space on the bottom. So you have to pack smartly, right? And that's kind of the appeal of the nest. It's a very well designed briefcase. It's tiny. You can pack your essentials in it. I keep a few cables, a power bank, a power adapter, and some random knickknacks, you know, it's very practical. Now, before we conclude this, I think it's important to do a list of pros and cons and try to catch the target audience of this product. So the pros is obviously the design is a head turner, it's very well designed. The engineering is a head turner, like from the hinge to the pen loop that can be retightened. To the way the lid looks with the small valet tray and the embossed logo, this is a very well made product. However, I honestly only have one con, it's not even the size, because if you're buying a small product, obviously you expect that you can only put small items in it, it's more the depth of the tray. So if I wanted right now, I could have put my Apple mouse in it, but any other mouse would not have fit, because it's too thick. So I imagine if I had one thing that I would like to be fixed in the next version is just have more depth or maybe have multiple versions of the product, you know, uh, some deeper one, maybe some thinner ones if people want to have to store even smaller items. But this is kind of a um, nitpick and I think that it's a product that works very well and really, and really achieves its purpose very well. And that wraps up my review of the Nest. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and leave a comment. There's a link in the bottom to buy a Nest if you want to. Go buy one, it's... it's it's very good. And uh, I'll hopefully see you in the next video. My socials are in the bottom. Peace out, guys.